today I'm demonstrating the Synopsys Design Wear IP prototyping kit for HDMI 2.0 RX controller with an ARC software development platform. This kit provides the essential hardware and software elements needed to reduce the HDMI 2.0 RX IP prototyping and integration effort, so you can start implementing the IP in an SOC in minutes. The kit includes the Synopsys Apps DX FPGA based prototyping system with pre-configured IP and SOC integration logic, an HDMI RX5 daughter board, simulation test bench, reference drivers and application examples. This kit also includes a 32-bit DesignWare ARC processor-based software development platform running Linux. Here is the Apps DX system, the HDMI RX5 daughter board and the ARC software development platform. The first SD card includes HDMI 2.0 RX controller IP and associated SOC integration logic, which will be inserted in the app's DX system. A second SD card holds the HDMI reference drivers and application examples that run on the processor platform. The HDMI RX5 daughter board allows you to connect the hardware prototype to real-world devices like this Blu-ray disc player. The two boards are connected with a high-speed interconnect cable that represents the EXI tunnel. All IP development kits are compatible with most software development tools, so software engineers can start driver and firmware development in their preferred environment. To see the HDMI 2.0 RX IP in action, I will connect the HDMI cable from the HDMI RX5 daughter board to the HDMI output in the Blu-ray disc player. On the other end, I'm going to use the HDMI output port from the ARC software development platform to stream out the video image to the LCD. I can easily operate the Linux console from the software development platform peripherals like a keyboard and mouse. I will install the HDMI RX driver into the Linux kernel. The driver will point to a specific HDMI 5 version and specific VGA format to configure the FI accordingly. The driver is now installed, so I can run the HDMI RX application. The tool contains all the logic and programming sequences needed to bring up the HDMI RX controller and FI. To play the live video, I will set the Blu-ray to exercise the 1080p video mode. The ARC PGU application directs the video DMA to be written into the ARC processor graphic unit buffers. This example illustrates the video image received from the FI, processed by the controller, sent to the ARC software development platform, and finally sent to the HDMI output and the TV. With the reference application included in the IP prototyping kit, designers can apply several sets of configurations such as the read and write registers on the HDMI RX controller and FI. In addition, this application provides the flexibility to configure the FI and select one of its four ports. The application allows designers to force the reset and show information related to the clock and FI state machine. If designers need to analyze the information transmitted between the FI and controller, this application provides a debug summary that shows the configuration in that precise moment. Designers may easily observe the video resolution received from the source and also the HTCP state. For a specific driver development activity, this application lets designers check the driver state. Synopsys provides this application example and related source code within the HDMI RX 2.0 IP prototyping kit so that designers can modify update or even create their own applications to suit their needs. The IP prototyping kit allows you to quickly and easily explore many different scenarios. As you can see, this kit works fine out of the box. However, designers can modify the IP configuration for their own applications using a set of tools for a fast iteration flow. This flow uses the Synopsys Core Consultant tool with a simple GUI interface to change the configuration generate RTL and verify the IP integration using the simulation test bench environment, all in about one hour. Core Consultant allows designers to change or select a configuration through a simple GUI. 
this intuitive interface guides you through the available options for fast reconfiguration turnaround time. When you are finished, clicking Apply generates the RTL. The IP prototyping kit includes the Protocompiler DX GUI used for design synthesis or Tickle scripts to expedite the process and complete the placing route. Once the design is modified and reloaded in the SD card, you can check key internal signals and status registers. The IP prototyping kit comes pre-instrumented to capture relevant signals using deep trace debug. This capability gives designers the ability to view several seconds of waveforms to speed up debug interactions. This is done by taking advantage of 8GB DRAM on the Apps DX system. The DRAM captures RTL waveforms that can be viewed on popular hardware debuggers, such as Synopsis Verdi or most other waveform viewer tools. After you have completed your software and hardware development, the IP prototyping kits can easily connect through an EXI tunnel to an App70 platform, creating a large SOC prototype. You have seen how the Designware IP prototyping kit for HDMI 2.0 RX provides immediate productivity for both hardware engineers and software developers. Thank you for watching.